What's going on guys, Billy here, and just yesterday we got an update to the DJI GO 4 application that was entirely dedicated to changes for the Inspire 2. This app version is 4.2.24 and is 443.4 megabytes in size to download. In the update notes, there were six things changed and added in total, but I'm only gonna be going over a few in detail here to highlight what's new. The first change deals with full screen mode, which hides the heads up display by swiping with one or two fingers along the display. It all depends on what you have this set to in the settings. Now in previous versions of the DJI GO app, full screen mode would literally hide everything except for the map and the battery life of your mobile device. Now in this new version, along with the Inspire 2, they've added a new interface that matches that of a production style camera or a production style monitor. So when we swipe to enter full screen mode now, there's still some information on the screen. It looks really clean. It shows things like camera values, battery life, media storage, and we have the ability to change some of the settings on the fly through buttons in the bottom right corner. While all of this is cool, you can still enter true full screen mode by tapping on the arrow in the bottom left corner, hiding all of the overlays. The next important change deals with full screen mode yet again. When using the DJI GO app, tapping on the screen sets the focus of the camera. In previous versions of the app, when we go into full screen mode and try to tap, it just exits that full screen mode, which was pretty annoying. After the update, we can now tap the screen to focus our camera in full screen mode. Next on the patch list is an added parameter setting for rolling the gimbal. Now the cool thing about any gimbal or any camera that you buy for the Inspire 2 is all the different movements that you can actually do with that gimbal. So you can control the yaw, you can control the roll, and you can control the pitch. Whereas on a standard drone like the Phantom or the Mavic, all you can do is control the pitch up and downwards. Now I would show you guys this new change. I literally just bought my Inspire 2. All I've got is one single remote controller. I would need a slave remote controller to go over this with you guys. And I tried just using this remote as a slave remote controller to really test it out. But again, as I get new new accessories for this drone, I'm going to be able to test out more things, so just bear with me. This final change is pretty interesting as it has to do with the customizable buttons on the back of the remote controller. In this new update, if we go to the settings, then select controller settings, and then find button customization, we'll see that they added a brand new option to select all the way at the bottom of the list. This essentially resets the pitch of the gimbal, which is a nice option as all of the other DJI drones have the ability to do this. The option that I use is gimbal recenter, so it brings the camera back looking straight by resetting the yaw and pitch. Now you have the option to only reset the pitch if that's something that you want to do. So that's basically all that was changed in this new version of the DJI GO 4 application for the Inspire 2. I'm really looking forward to using the production style monitor interface as sometimes the HUD gets a little bit too cluttered and in the way of when I'm trying to frame up a shot or frame up a picture uh, when I'm shooting. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe to find out more information about future updates as they come out as I always try to cover them in depth here on my channel, especially the bigger firmware updates. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.